Hi everybody, this is Julie for Swiss Link Live TV. Maurice is off playing hooky today, lucky guy. Aww. For a Friday, rainy. <laughs> He's escaping the weather, hopefully some, somewhere warmer. Um, so I want to talk to you today about our Swiss Link aluminum boxes. Storage boxes, travel boxes. They're really good quality. Got two latches on the front. You have a rubber gasket all the way around to seal it. Really nice. Very nice quality, and of course, aluminum is beautiful. Uh, there's lots of space in there. The good thing about these is, if you get two of them, they're stacking. So if you bought two small ones, they stack perfectly on top of each other. And they have good carry handles. And you can see it's just good all-around construction. Uh, the small one is $74.99 only. You can't beat that. Oh, no way. No Those way. in a box. Wow. Uh, that's lightweight, too. Very light. Very lightweight. Then the medium one. Same. You could stack on top, has the same latches, the same seal, um, lots of space in here. You betcha. Um, you could put blankets in it at home, you can put it in your vehicle with first aid and all kinds of stuff. Pretty much endless uses. Mm -hmm. Great storage cases, of course it says Swiss Link on there. You betcha. With our crest. So, those are the two items I want to tell you about. Oh, and you can put one inside the other too. Let's try that. Let's try to put one inside each other. Just let them see if they can stack them up in there. Nesting boxes. Look at that. It will look like one of them gnomes you get when you keep on pulling them out. And I have a nightmares about those things. Oh. They just keep coming keep out. Keep coming out, man. Oh, so rushing dolls. Yeah, those things freak me out. <laughs> so these nest also, yes. You betcha. And it's still, I mean. Even lightweight with two of them in two. there. Exactly. Yeah, so those are excellent quality. We don't have that many left, so stock up on them. They're going quickly lately. For some reason, everybody's getting ready for spring and summer, camping, traveling, yeah, everything. Yeah. And then, since we're talking about spring and summer and camping, here's an item we have that we've always had. Check canteen with the wool cover, leather strap. You can get the wool wet, and it'll stretch to close, and it'll also keep your whiskey cold or your water or whatever you want to put in there. Aww. Cork stopper. It's also a good fit, good seal. These are really cool. Just a great staple, great surplus item. Uh, you can put it on your belt or your gear. Um, check mess kit. Another one we have. It's a nesting one. It's a three piece, brand new. So you can have three different pieces to cook in. And those are nice and lightweight. Aluminum also. There's the lid. Let me close this up. That's a nice lightweight one if you're backpacking. And then last, the Yugo mess kit, which I have, which is my favorite. Comes with a knife, fork, and spoon set. Comes in the bag. You have a canteen. And then you can cook in here. Put that over your stove and you can boil water in there. That's what I did with the Mountain House food. You have a canteen. Another little drinking cup. drinking cup or whatever, and you could then put something in there too. So the whole entire set with the bag. Exactly, and this and this one here Check canteen. is only nine ninety nine. Can't beat that. Nope, and this one here is thirteen dollars. Check mess kit. You betcha. And then this this one here is uh, fourteen ninety five. Can't beat that. Can't Those beat that at all. Awesome surplus. I betcha. Items. All good staples of Swiss Link. We have a lot of mint stock, so. Get ready for spring and summer. And without further ado, my brother from another mother, Billy the Weatherman. Hey, everybody, how you doing? This is Billy Joe Piggy, your Swiss League Weatherman. Wow. I'm a little uh, tired of the rain. I was just going to say the same thing, man. I, you know, my canoe is getting a little wore out. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, today I think it's going to be. Ooh, 50 degrees a day, as you can see outside, we're like kind of pouring out there. Yes, we are. But then tomorrow, we're looking like we've got a break. Oh, good. Little break for tomorrow. Clouds, I'm talking about maybe 60 degrees, you know what I mean? At least the day is going to be only 50, so 10 degrees more is a little better. That's good. And then Sunday, we got more rain. But I'm thinking this might be the last one for at least the whole week, I'm hoping. That would be nice. You know what I mean? Because what I'm understanding now, we got sunshine coming as of... Monday afternoon, all the way to Friday that I see so far, we're going to be hitting 70s. That would be perfect. Oh my God, spring might just be here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So everybody, anchor down for the weekend, but hey, get out there during the week and come on over here and get some of this spring stuff we got. Yes, we're ready. We're ready. Come on in.
Thank you for watching. You betcha. See you later, Mo. I know you're seeing this. <laughs>